them, but not for Aaron. He's been in the zone very well. 4 nothing Blue Jays as Russell Martin will lead things up. New pitcher for the Rays is the youngster, Jacob Faria. Faria working in his third game this spring. Split between high A and double A last year. Very nice season with that ERA under two. Russell Martin takes the first pitch. Stranker is pleased to be joined by Aaron Sanchez, who has joined us from the dugout. Aaron, congratulations on a good outing today. Thank you, guys. Aaron, we have talked a lot about it. You and I talked earlier in the spring about your off-season program and how you have added some muscle to your frame. Does it translate? Can you feel the difference on the mound when you're working? Yeah, everything's just so much more easier. Um, like I said to many times before, what I thought last year was right in my delivery wasn't necessarily right. Um, this year being more stable, stronger, uh, I'm easier to, it's easier for me to get to those positions without even thinking about it. And I think that was uh, the biggest thing, you know, prior to coming into camp this year. Um, was not repeating my delivery, and, and I think that's that's all cleaned up. It's just about executing pitches out there. Aaron, we saw some excellent curveballs today, probably some of the best I've seen from you all spring. Can you attribute the better curveball to your physical conditioning as well and strength? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like I said, I, I think last year I got a tendency to kind of fall backwards when, when I'm going to the plate, um, and then and then I'm already defeated. I can't even I have no chance to execute the pitch. Uh, this year it gives me a better chance to, to stay in, in my delivery a lot longer and, and have better depth on my pitches. You get a veteran catcher in Russell Martin after you have the two out walk to Schaefer. Martin comes to the mound. What's that conversation all about? Hey, I'm just giving you a breather. So what? Let's get this guy and get back in the zone. When you miss like that, Aaron, that at bat, we talked about it up here, but young pert pitchers, when you do hit that little roadblock, you've got to figure it out. What did you do out there to figure it out the next batter? Obviously, Russell coming out there, giving me the confidence to get, to get the next hitter. It's huge. Uh, but I understand what type of stuff I got. And if I just stay in the zone, and, and, and I'm always one pitch away um, with that sinker that I have. So I try not to I try not to let things get too big on me. Um, just go out there and execute a pitch, take it one pitch at a time. Uh, Fell behind him 2-0. Was able to get back in the zone and, and get out of that. Aaron, you're a California guy. You spent the majority of the offseason down in Duke with your pal yeah. Marcus Stroman. Take us through those workouts and how much that really got you focused for the spring training camp. Well, I got hurt in June last year, and uh, I knew I needed to do something. And, and my, my mindset was just kind of get through the year and, and, and understand that I got a ton of work to do in the offseason. Um, our workouts in Durham were get up, eat, work out, come home, eat, nap, and we do that twice a day. Um, it was super intense, but it's understand, understanding that I knew I needed to, to do what I did, and I couldn't be more prepared coming into camp. You and Marcus have grown up in this organization together. He came out of college. You came out of high school, but you're great friends. How does that friendship work for you as far as a baseball player how does that help you compete basically a friendly competition with your best friend yeah it's perfect uh, to have somebody that's in your corner at all times also competing with you also pushing you also trying to get the most out of you I mean it's the best situation obviously you guys know how we interact um, it's nothing but fun that we try to have uh, we pick each other's brains non-stop and I know Aaron nothing you want more and Stroh wants more yeah. than to be partners in that rotation how is it for you in spring training Gavin Floyd of course is going yeah. to follow you today yeah uh, I mean obviously we, we talked talked about this years before uh, last year we thought that was our chance he had, obviously he got hurt um, so we'll see what happens this year I, I can't control I can't control the, the decisions they make so I'm just gonna go out there and continue executing pitches and pitching the way I have um, they'll, they'll they'll make that decision um, Glavin's stolen pretty well so it comes down to what makes the team better if they feel that's uh, me in the pen then I guess that's what we'll, we'll figure out when, when the time comes Aaron, congratulations on a good outing and a great start to your spring. Thanks for your time. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. That's Aaron Sanchez, who had a great outing today. Had a walk and four strikeouts. He breezed through this Tampa Bay switch squad lineup. He and Marcus Stroman, of course, best friends. They have been together quite a while. They have pitched together in just about every level of this organization, and they are determined to pitch together in the rotation whether it's this year or next year you can bet they're going to be a wicked one two punch somewhere down the line well they certainly will and if you're the toronto blue jays or a fan of the toronto blue jays how about having a rotation led by marcus stroman with aaron sanchez to follow and that's those guys are under club control for a few more years that's a long-term thing very nice thing to plan forging ahead i think it's imperative that 
for long-term success, you have homegrown talent. They play with a lot of pride. They're playing with their friends. They're playing with their teammates. They're playing with guys they have grown up with, and they want to represent their organization. And especially when they've played for one organization, and that name in the front of that jersey means even more. Michael Saunders and strikes out. Jake Faria strikes out the side in his first inning of work. Well, head to the fifth for nothing Blue Jays. 